The year on the National Hunt Chase is next. This is the first of the lower handicaps this week. Four miles north to 120. Avon Pants, David Robertson, Brit John Morgan, Matador Martin, Liam, Agent Arlen, Padre Hogan, Dressed Grain, James Shea, Window Rock, Peach, Vinnie Gerard, Tayside Tiger, Matt Cooper, Garus for Padre Hogan, Infatuation, Paul Parsons, Penelope Pitstop, Martin Liddell, France for Matt Cooper, Your Golf Travel Com, Alex Cherry, and Invictus Reigns for Derek Hinton, a field of 13 this time, and some pretty decent horses and some big trainers in this, despite it being one of the lower banded handicaps they're already off and racing and is this Brit going to do what Flying Amber did in the champion chase in the last race and turn it into an absolute strong out race at full pelt oh Sophie over the first and it does look like that's what we're going to get we're going to get Brit clear in the lead into the second of the 25 it'll be a lot harder to do it over four miles and obviously won't be doing it quite so quickly but it's going plenty fast enough I would think for a four miler especially around here and it's Brit in the lead as they get to the third just about second is France but there's a line of about five or six of them it's quite an open race this one I wouldn't really like to stick your neck out after stick your neck out and say what you think and win Obviously it's a handicap so the horse with the best form should be horse number one and probably is but also carrying the most weight. Into number four. All safely over number four. Some of these could be here for the Grand National next week I suppose they'll be running out of the handicap if they do unless they win this by about 30 lengths I don't get put up high enough to get into the handicap I wouldn't have thought and it's Brit in the lead from your golf travel corners in second and Matt Cooper's got third and fourth France and Tayside Tiger Paul Parsons an infatuation Paul Parsons had a good opening day his first ever Cheltenham Festival. He's, I think he's a two or three place. Muttered all the grey on the outside. And he had one that came second. Pretty sure he had one that came in the money as well. Over the next they go. And there's a four at the back. His window rock peach is gone. So two of the big names. Joshua Sutherland who's not in this race. And Vinnie Gerard who's not in it anymore. Neither of them had a winner yet. And they probably could have expected to have come closer to getting one than they have they haven't even been really close Josh has had a couple placed but not really not like winning any as they get over the eighth and it's Brit in front I'll be absolutely amazed if that doesn't change at some point between now and the grand annual on day three I'm sure they'll pick some winners up between now and then over number nine they go all safely over it. And Brits in front. John Morgan may have seen his best hope of a winner this week. Gone already with Cut Hill Hope falling in the last. I'm sure he's got a few more up his sleeve as they get over the next. All Golf Travel Comp is in second. He also got touched off in a race earlier, didn't he? By his compatriot, Mr. Clutterbuck. As they get to the ditch. All safely over that one. Brit in the lead. Your Golf Travel Com second. Then France and Tayside Tiger as they take the 12th. So they all get over okay. They even punch the top weight on the outside of Dressed Grain. Then the Grain Matador, the only Grain in the field. Infatuation is next. Then Penelope Pit Stop. And Invictus Reigns. And the back two are the Padre Hogan pair, Garus. And Argent Arlen, Agent Arlen, should I say, as they get over the next one. Brooks lead is probably cut down to three or four now. Your golf travel com is in second. I do wish I had to put the word dot in between. Travel and Congress, you've got to say it every time. 
If they get to the 14th, maybe he already got one called that and he didn't get in the team. Pretty in front. Mule Golf Travel Comp second. Teesside Tiger in front, third and fourth. Fatuation on the outside, dressed grey, even pants. And then Invictus Reigns. And then the back four. Oh, two for me and two for Patrick Hogan. I've got one in each of my silks. The red rum silks are matted all the grey. Which is normally for my jumping horses. And the purple and white stripes are normally for my flat horses, but sometimes you forget to change them over. When the season changes, you play the combined game like I do and end up exporting them with the wrong silks. So, so sometimes they get the wrong ones on. So that's what's happened with Penelope Pitstop. She was probably exported probably around Whitbread Gold Cup time or something, and the flat had already started by then. I changed over the to a flat anyway. Enough waffle, I'll get over the next. All safely over it. With a Brit in the lead. Golf Travel Com is second. Taste our Tiger third and France fourth. It's been pretty much that way all the way around so far. It's the distance between the placings is changing, that's about it. In dressed grain and victorious reins and matadors attack this plain one. All safely over that Penelope pit stop the back marker. And Brit's gonna lead them into the water. Safely over that one. Tayside Tiger now second. Young Wolf Travel Com third. France four. And Invictus Reigns five. And dressed grey and then matted on the inside. Of infatuation is a big ditch. Oh, there's a fall of air. It's gone. Tayside Tiger's down. So Tayside Tiger, almost slow motion fall. Into the 21st, and the leader was slow over that. Brit Matadors now move through. Into second, the grey infatuation going well in third. Your golf travel com is there. Then comes France. Dressed grain is after that. The two that are making good ground from the back are Agent Arlen and Garus. Invictus Ranger just lost his place a bit. Avon Pants may be struggling with the big weight. And Penelope Pit stop getting closer as they get over the final ditch. Which was three to jump now. And Brit has not been challenged yet. It's two to three clear and racing downhill. Matador is in second, France is in third, Infatuation looks to be going well in fourth, look at this Agent Arlen creeping up the inside there, Agent Arlen has now come right through into second and he's going to be the first one to lay a challenge onto Brit, I would think, they've got three to jump and now Agent Arlen has come to take it up, Agent Arlen then goes into the lead, Brit is in second, Matador is third, this is the third last, none of them jumped it all that brilliantly, look at the top white Avon Pants now starting to get into it as well, this is still quite open this one, Agent Arlen with two to jump and three and a half furlongs to go they were shot for home and suddenly gone four to five clear and looks to be going exceptionally well all of a sudden his agent Arlen in the lead with two to jump, Avon Pants has gone second, Brit now struggling back in third Matador is in fourth, then comes Infatuation and France after that one as they head for the home turn and agent Arlen is six clear of Avon Pants in second Infatuation is next, then Brit Matador has gone out like a light over the second last they go and it's agent Arlen who's clear Agent Arlen for Padre Hogan with Avon Pants chasing in second. This is the final fence and Agent Arlen's over it clear. Avon Pants is trying to close in second. Infatuation's back in third. But this looks like it's going to be a winner for Padre Hogan and a win for Ireland as Agent Arlen races up towards the line. It's Agent Arlen who takes the year of the National Hunt chase pretty comfortably in the end. Agent Arlen wins it. It's going to be close for second between Avon Pants and Infatuation. Then Dress Grain and France and Brit and Garus. Matador unseated his rider at the far offence as well. Penelope Pitstuff was last, a bit of a disaster race for me. And not so for Padre Hogan, who gets himself on the roll of honour with a win. Agent Arlen took that, took that pretty comfortably in the end. Agent Arlen for Padre Hogan, the winner. Infatuation for Paul Parsons, another second. For him, Avon Pants for David Robertson was third, Dressed Grain James Shea fourth, and Frat for Matt Cooper was fifth.